welcome to Dreaminoids Hi-Fi's YouTube channel. I'm Joey. Uh, I also have a co-owner named Christian who's also in the videos with me at times, but today it's just me because you can see we're taking up some space and uh, we're going to be talking about Riga speakers. And um, Riga speakers hold dear space in my heart as much of Riga does because, um, well one, I grew up with them. I've had everything from kites, which are like the uh, 90s quintessential Riga bookshelf, which is what uh, the lineage of the RX-1s come from. But we have even more of a story to add to that today. And um, I've had Riga Juras back in the day, back in like 1999, um, which is kind of uh, where these come from. This is kind of an evolution of both uh, some of their uh, smaller driver speakers combined with a larger woofer on the side, as you see. So I actually have two, um, two brochures here. This is actually a brochure from the uh, mid 90s. It's a, a US brochure, it was put out by Laurelman Imports, Laurelman. And uh, it's really cool because it actually has the kites here, it has the ELAs, the EL8s, and their flagship, the uh, XELs. And I actually got to hear all of these when I was a kid, when I was like 16, 17, 18. Uh, the shop that I frequented, Concert Sounds in San Antonio, Texas, actually had all of these, and they had all of their electronics. They had the Planet, they had the Planer 2, they had the Planer 9, the Planer 3, and they also had um, the Howl and the Exxons, and they had the Mira, uh, which I don't know if the Mira's on here, but um, they also had the radio. I mean, they just had everything there, and this is when I got this uh, brochure here, and I've had it ever since. I actually has enough foresight to save uh, more than a couple. And then this here is Riga's current uh, brochure. So um, as you can see, it has all of their newest products. And uh, what I'm gonna come over to are the speakers because that's what we're talking about today. Now, uh, we have half of what's, what uh, Riga carries and I'll tell you why. Um, right here is uh, Riga's speaker line. As you can see, um, it's one page. Uh, Riga is famous for their turntables, then their electronics, and then their speakers. But because I grew up with this system, literally all at the shop that I, uh, that I frequented and, and my mentors came from, uh, I really believe in a full Riga system. And that's why we carry Riga speakers. And we're one of the few shops in the US that carries everything Riga. In other videos, you've heard me talk about that. Now you're gonna see the, some of the speakers that we carry. Now you'll see here, uh, these are brand new Riga kites. So I showed you the original Riga kites in here, and today they're, they've come out with the Riga kites. Now, they have not come to the US yet. That is the only reason we don't have them here today. Uh, as soon as they hit the States, we will have a pair, we will do an unboxing, we will listen to them uh, like, crazy like we always do we've uh we did a, a video recently about the riga io and we have gone nuts about that i mean i've just been playing it and playing it and playing i've been playing all kinds of speakers on it i've hooked up the p1 the p1 plus the p3 um digital front ends just everything we've been driving through that io and having a blast compared it to a tube amp um we've just been having a good time we'll be doing a follow-up on that but uh today we're talking about their speakers and um What's really unique about Riga is that, again, they uh, design their own drivers. Now, um, some may not know, but uh, Riga actually has been designing loudspeakers since the 70s. That's what uh, Roy Gandy's first interest was. He was building like concrete speakers, if you read the book, which uh, we'll be releasing a video about that soon, um, Riga's book. He actually talks about the speakers that he designed. And so when Riga's uh, latest RX series came out, this is a culmination of over 40 years of design. Uh, they, had, they had loudspeakers before this series even. And um, this driver here is the evolution, I believe, of the 125. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Y'all are great at doing that. I appreciate it. And um, if you know anything about the 125, it's had different 
styles of phase plugs over the year and now we have like a it looks like a machined aluminum and um, we have uh, I believe I don't believe they use their own tweeter yet correct me if I'm wrong again but they do use their own driver and um, they're also really famous for uh, their woofers that they design here and um, some of the speakers that I showed you in here actually used uh, multi-layer voice coils to uh, act as a crossover rather than using like an inductor, an air coil inductor. So, um, so now that I've gotten all the technical speak out of the way with these, I'm going to put these covers back on so you can kind of see what they look like. Now, um, you're looking at these finishes. These are real veneer finishes. Uh, they're amazing. You can get these in a uh, walnut, I believe, cherry, and black. We've uh, delivered them to customers in all of those finishes. They all look amazing. They feel amazing. These uh, normally will have spikes on them. I didn't want to put the spikes on the glass for obvious reasons. Um, you'll notice that they're ported. So this one doesn't have the port up front, but in the back, there's a small port. These speakers are made so that you can put them up against the wall and you can also uh, have them bring them out. They're going to have a really musical uh, low end, which is really nice because um, you look at these speakers and they may look like they're kind of small, especially um, like you may see some fine audio behind me. We also carry fine audio speakers. Um, these speakers in their, for their prices are going to look smaller than most other speakers. But uh, once you hear them, people just, whoa, they're just blown away. Uh, multiple times I've played this speaker and some fine audio speakers and in the same price range. And people tend to understand what Riga is doing, especially when, because we sell Riga, it's an all Riga system, uh, what, what these are capable when put in a whole, a whole Riga system. So what these are going to do is they're going to have, uh, they're going to be musical. So what that means is, um, they're going to specialize in Pratt, okay, which is pace, rhythm, and timing. Okay, so they're going to have a really musical uh, 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 tune to them. I think it's called playing the tune. And um, so instead of just thinking about frequency response or imaging, these do that, but they have something that keeps timing and has a musicality to it and uh, 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 understands the voice and the nuances of the voice that um, it just kind of jams along. And uh, when we've had customers get these speakers, they've always really enjoyed them. The, this speaker tends to work really well with the Riga Brio and with the uh, Riga Elex R. These RX-5s, I've had uh, customers run them in a Brio in, a, in a, like a smaller apartment room, which is fine. Um, but you can run these, I've run these in like 20 by 20 rooms with an Elex R and I've run them with the Athos, and they just, they're amazing. I mean, they're, they are uh, a powerhouse. Um, they're very, very unassuming speakers. These retail, these are the RX-5s, they retail for $29.95. These retail for $12.95. Um, there is a speaker in between called the RX-3. They're gonna be $19.95. I uh, admittedly have never had a pair, um, but I understand that they're really, really great speakers. I would imagine they're about this big, uh, compared to these and uh, are going to have um, a really great uh, extension when compared to these and are going to fit in a nice uh, small space and really lock the room in. But um, other than that, uh, they're going to have very uh, similar um, back plates. So this has the same exact back plate as um, the RX-5s. So they're going to be single wire. Uh, we use the Riga duet speaker cable. We've actually sold a bunch of it. I actually had to order a whole nother reel uh, of it because we sold out. Um, and they pair very, very well with that. Uh, some people uh, I've read on forums use these with tube amplifiers because they feel that um, because they're so musical, they match very well with tubes that tend to have a nice second uh, order harmonic distortion that um, uh, when you play uh, these speakers with those tube amps tend to really kind of uh, emphasize the, the vocals in a way that sounds very 3D and, and has a musicality to it. I have not gotten to play these with the tube amp yet, 
but that will be happening very soon, um, which is a whole nother story for another video. But overall, um, I highly recommend, if you ever have a chance of hearing some Riga speakers, it's uh, definitely something that can add to your understanding of Riga's approach to hi-fi. Um, if you had a, a Riga P3, Elias 2, I'm sorry, Eli yeah, Elias 2, and a Riga Brio and RX1s, and you put it together and use the Riga speaker cable, I mean, you can hear what the factory is going for. It's really amazing and it has a really nice sound. My, you know, I'm slighted because I've been doing this a lot lately and um, I love jumping up to Riga's moving coil cartridges. When you jump up to their moving coil cartridges, these speakers just jump alive. I have a, a customer that had a Riga P3. I told him, let's uh, put a Riga Nia Pro on it, which is probably like the biggest cartridge I'd ever put on a, on a P3. And he had um, an Illicit R, uh, which is the newest uh, integrated amp of the Illicit series and it's $29.95 and I had to match them with these RX-5s and um, this customer really likes to play music at volume and uh, I haven't heard from him since about any problems uh, with any of his system. He's just been jamming out and he posts uh, photos and video on Instagram of him having a good time with them. So, that's something that I've always really liked about Riga is uh, their set and forget. And then what's also amazing is that when you do ever have an issue, um, of course they have good dealers, but even more importantly than that in the US, they have a great distributor, the sound organization, who take care of issues uh, just so professionally. And, um, and you can't say that about all of the uh, manufacturers that are out there and all of the distributors that are out there. Uh, we really appreciate working with both Riga and with the Sound Org because they're so professional that uh, when you buy a pair of Riga speakers from any dealer, whether it's me or anybody else, um, you're going to get an experience and you should get an experience that uh, should blow your mind in terms of service, in terms of the sound, and in terms of making sure that it sounds great with your system. So I hope this was informative. I know it was kind of... Uh, an overview more than an in-depth, but that's mainly because um, you got to come hear these things. Uh, there, you know, I can talk about the technology and and the history of the drivers, but really, um, these speakers speak for themselves. And so, yes, I have to be corny. So I encourage you to uh, hit us up if you're interested in coming and getting a demo. Um, if you do not uh, know if your dealer carries. Uh, Riga speakers, um, hit us up. We can put you in contact with the distributor or contact uh, the sound org and ask them. And uh, we're always happy to help you out and find uh, what it is that you need in order to keep the tunes playing in your home. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day.